You hear that? Yeah, it's right there. So, oh, it's interesting. We heard something up here in the like a thump, but probably snow falling off the trees. This is a we're hiking in that trail that I should. I don't, I don't think I actually got a pic video of it. I had taken a picture of it up at the top. This uh, trail hike connects down to uh, our research area on the other side of the Highway 6 here in the Oregon Coast Range. And this is the first real significant snowfall we've had in the Coast Range this winter. So and we'll uh, keep the camera close at hand and... Uh, doesn't look like anybody's been back here today at the the trail behind us they uh there was somebody and their dog had been in here so we'll just videotape for a minute here take you with us oh no somebody no here's the trail of the dog and the the person It's interesting how quiet the forest gets after snowfall. We're in the area where it's been a couple, two, three years ago. Susan and I were driving on the road, comes into here and had two bobcats cross the road right in front of us. Got uh, some pictures. One of them went up a tree across, went across the road, looking right at us. <clears throat> and then we came down this trail and found some uh, bobcat cat. We assume Bobcat Scat. Oop, you go. Whoop, a Sasquatch. Thanks. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. <laughs> Snow covered. I can't imagine that on occasion that the Bigfoot in this area don't utilize this trail or trails like it. Um, this so this trail is interesting because it connects the north and south um, areas and uh, I just have this suspicion that that uh, there's a travel route to between two high points um, in this area one being kind of northeast of where we're at now and the other one being almost directly south of that and in between there is a research area and where we've had for me it seemed like an unusually high degree of weird activity and as if you've heard me talk about on Monster X is it um Nothing that that has happened there I can say definitively what well, could be attributed to Bigfoot. We just had some things happen that we couldn't attribute to any the behavior of any other 
of a, a known animal. So, <clears throat> but also some visual sightings by members of the Tillamook Forest Group. Whistles and weird thumps and just in our area of where I heard my first what I would describe as a, definitely a tree knock early one morning while uh, Shane and Larry were camped down the road from our location several hundred yards they were hearing knocks from a another location, so they were selling, sending squatchograms, I guess, talking back and forth to each other. But what are these hairless apes doing out here? It's definitely snowing now. Get your little, take your mask off. He ever came back here, came back here a ways. Watch out. Watch out for that branch. Watch out for that branch. <laughs> How are your feet doing? Huh? Are you warm? You yeah, of course they do. Definitely um, easier to see where that creek is. Huh? my mask somewhere. Uh-oh. Well, we're going back the same way That's we true. came, so... Hopefully Bigfoot's not wearing it. Oh. Hopefully come, we come back, Bigfoot's not wearing it. <laughs> That'd be really funny if I lost my... dropped my Bigfoot mask. <laughs> This is Definitely, snow would make seeing something moving, you know, the contrast of a dark figure moving ground through the back with snow in the background. Crunch. Don't hit that branch. <laughs> Your face getting too cold? Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, don't want to knock that branch. Huh? Don't want to hit this. The branches on this tree. Duck. <clears throat> really round, but, uh, What's that? Really, really 
Well, I think they're partially the lower part would get filled in first, and then you'd have the pad. <clears throat> when they were clear back there, I could definitely tell it was a dog before it, before they got filled in. There could be other things that have come down this trail. Since the, uh, whoever was walking here. Crunch, crunch. Every time that you're out in the woods, there's always the possibility, you know, of having some kind of Bigfoot encounter or other animal life, which is also interesting. We went back and got our little air horn uh, out of the pickup because... And was reminding me that we had uh, we'd been out camping, and on the way home, we stopped to there's a trail called the Four County Point Trail um, off of Highway Six yeah, from Portland to Seaside, and we we stopped. There's snowing heavy here now, um, and so we we didn't even take a backpack or. You know, we had our had a, a pistol that we didn't bring with us, didn't bring our, so we didn't have our bear air horn. <clears throat> and uh, we hiked in, went, saw the, where it's a point where four, the only point in Oregon where four counties come together. It's about a mile, little mile hike. So we hiked in, come back out, I walk under a, a branch was going over the trail. Didn't think anything of it. And Susan's right behind me. And something jumped out of the tree. Brushed the back of her backpack. And I heard thud. Like, like it must have been a cat of some kind. Because um, it, it, from the sound of the, when it landed. You can't tell me there's not places out here for... So things to hide. You know, we know there's lots of deer, elk, bear, cat, etc. that li live in these woods. And the likelihood that we're going to see any of them today in this remote area is not not high. But we could walk, you know, deer. We, I guess it's population possibility based on how many there are of which particular animal and you don't even factor in that uh, Bigfoot is a might a little be a little skittish of humans yeah this it's really coming down now it's been snowing for a little bit up here I definitely can feel my I can't feel my hand anymore. No. <laughs> this part's all exposed. It's interesting the trail I mean when it was under the the trees, no snow on the trail. You, did you drop a... Are you leaving a trail? <laughs> We're walking on a trail, so you don't need to leave breadcrumbs. <laughs> so... No, we've been hiking before. <laughs> okay, duck.
we've walked, hiked this trail before all the way from this the north side of the highway to the other side of the highway which goes under a bridge and forms a creek it's really cool and goes out you can go out into um, a clear-cut area that that we had seen from the roads going into a research area but hadn't been down in before but there's a trail that to another trail on the other side which is um, where there's been two road crossing sightings one by Larry in the daylight and then one by Jess Southern's um, fella at like 10.30 at night. And that, that those two occurred like within a month of each other, I think. So what is Bigfoot doing today in the snow, do you suppose? Having a snowball fight. <laughs> Maybe having a snowball fight. Mm. Somebody's been here today before us in the snow. It has its... <clears throat> so you think? Oh. Do don't those look kind of round? Yeah. Those do. They don't look so flat. Well, there were some. The ones up on top definitely look like you could see the the paws and yeah. and the claw of their feet. What <laughs> scared me. Startled me. Startled me too. Just imagine a dark figure going up that hill there would stick out way more with the snow contrast. Of course, I didn't bring my GoPro. Huh? What's that? <laughs> so I have my GoPhone Pro. <laughs> you holding up okay? We weren't planning on really getting out. I told us <laughs> oh, we probably won't get out like, do much outside today. Because it was raining at the coast and it was snowing up here. Like how many times you get the, you know, the opportunity to go hike in the snow? Right? <laughs> Let's go to the snow, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Remember, we, we passed people on, or people, ran across people that were on, um, dirt, or on off-trail bikes. And we were on the other side. I don't know if we ran, if ever ran into them on this side. It's pretty narrow. Those bikers are crazy.
So worst case scenario, if you're like stuck in the woods, right? This would be a good place to hang out. Not in the snow. Mm -hmm. Get up out of the moss. Huh? Moss. moss. Yeah. Pull some moss for blanket. A moss blanket. <laughs> <clears throat> What's that? <laughs> Moss and dirt. Moss is warm though. I mean, it's insulating. Cut branches, make a little mm -hmm. shelter. Let the snow cover it up. Not that we want to test that theory. <laughs> this takes video. I mean, this holds a lot of video. We're at 21 minutes, 21 and a half minutes. The batteries on these, it's amazing technology with phones. Derek Randall's, you really ought to upgrade from your flip phone. <laughs> of course, Derek would be wearing shorts out here. Check what time it is on your your phone. Okay, we don't want to get. It's not going to be dark till like five. But we don't want to. Yeah, we also want to. I guess we're not that far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so we left Jake a note to tell tell him to you know let them know where we were going and. That we'd be back before six. So. <clears throat> Very pretty. Have you hiked a lot in the snow in the woods? Where did you hike in the snow in the woods? Washington. Yeah. Oh yeah, Colville, Washington. That's what you say. A. Eh? Surprised you don't have more of a Canadian accent. hear it you hear it when Thomas is doing Sasquatch Island a bit a boot a boot a boot that when uh oh, it'd be fine <laughs> it'll be fine Susan and I were training for uh, to hike the Grand Canyon, and so there was an area behind Rockaway Beach where we were living at the moment, and uh, there was some we designated some of the hills like Big Ass Hill, Big Ass Mountain. <laughs> we also had a place we called Bigfoot Holler because there was a a day that we were standing there and there's a big 
um, where you could actually look out over the valley below and I um, did a couple of calls and it was weird because there was something made a Susan and I were talking and something made a sound like a it's hard to even now describe like you get kind of a what was it a howl kind of a mixed howl thing it was weird and it was pretty actually pretty close to where we were and said did you hear that and I but I heard something, and then it did it again, and then there nothing again. I tried to whoop and make, which probably just pissed it off and scared it away. Whatever it was, definitely a weird, weird uh, experience. And so we called that area Bigfoot Hollow. Are you ready to turn around here? You don't want to go down this, huh? <laughs> okay, we're going to turn around at this point. I'm going to pause this for a little bit, put my hands in my pockets to get them warm, because I foolishly did not bring gloves with me.